we're gonna be talking about short codes today. Stick around. Hey, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton, and today we're gonna to talk about short codes. I'm just kidding, I won't stay down there. Uh, we we wanna walk you through what they are, uh, how they actually work inside of your page or posts, or maybe even inside of your widget sidebars, how you can place them in there. So stick around, we're gonna learn all about it. Let's get it going. Okay y'all, so we're gonna talk about short codes. I first of all wanna show you what it looks like, what, what a short code even looks like, right? So I'm gonna shrink this down, down. You don't really need to see me right now. Let's just look at the actual short codes, okay? So whenever you go to install a plugin, um, sometimes if you're trying to use uh, a calendar plugin or a photo gallery plugin or any plugin for that matter, the author might have coded it to where as soon as you install the plugin, you're going to have to take a little bit of code and put it on a page or in a post or maybe in a widget bar in order to allow that functionality to be seen, right? So let me show you right here. This is kind of what a short code looks like. This particular short code is a short code to create tabs on on your uh, page. Let's see if I can show you a picture really quickly of what uh, tabs might look like. So th this is a tab one, two, three type environment here, one, two, three. So when you click on those, you should be able to toggle between each tab, right? So in order to create that, um, this author doesn't make you go in and write all that crazy HTML or have to mess with any PHP or anything like that. It allows you to just simply install this plugin and then use these little types of code called short code to create that environment. Okay, This opens up all of your tabs. This creates the first tab. This is all of your content to go inside that tab and this closes that first tab. And then you see the second tab, your content for the second tab, the end of that second tab, and then this closes all of your tabs. So in a sense, if you wanted to have three tabs, you could just copy this portion, paste it inside of here, and name it tab three, and do whatever you'd like to there, add the content, and that these two, this first one and this last one, are the bookends basically that close out this whole section. This is what short codes look like. So many, many times uh, plugins are going to require that. So uh, let's walk through also, and this, that's, that explains what a short code is, right? Let's walk through how you would actually use them inside of your page or post. So for this example, I'm going to show you uh, the fact that I'm using a, a photo gallery plugin. That's actually the name of the plugin that I prefer. It's called Photo Gallery. It's fully responsive, pretty fantastic. Um, this particular plugin is, is really odd in the sense that it has a, a feature called Generate Short Code. So when I go to that tab, it allows me to do all sorts of settings and, and check what all sorts of elements I, I want for this particular display of this photo gallery. I generate it and it actually kicks out the exact short code that I'll need. So I'm going to copy that onto my clipboard. I'm going to go to a page really quickly here. We'll go to All Pages. And, and go find, let's just say this page, because it's a test page. And we're going to enter in and paste in my short code, all right? So you can either paste in a short code in the text mode or in the visual mode. It, it, it really, um, I, I don't believe it matters. Let me, let me double check that before I tell you that. It does matter. We need to stay in the text mode, all right? So be sure to click over to text mode, drop in the uh, drop in the short code, and I'm going to go ahead and click preview so that you guys can see what this would then look like. Okay, so here are my four pictures that were inside that gallery. If I click on them, it blows it up. So how cool is that, that I didn't have to write any sort of extra code or anything. All, all I had to do was drop in this little bitty short code that referenced which gallery I'd already created and it knows to display the four pictures that I have inside of that gallery. And, um, and of course, like I mentioned earlier, it's fully responsive as well. So how cool is that, that it restructures itself? Kind of really groovy there. Let's say, so you can do that, by the way, inside of a page or a post, right? Either spot, that's how you do it. You're going to toggle over to your text mode. You're going to grab that short code and you're going to paste it wherever you want it to display inside that page. But let's say you wanted that to display inside of a widget bar, right? And maybe this author has not uh, allowed any sort of a widget for their photo gallery to be able to drag, be dragged over. In fact, 
this author does. But let's say you didn't, all right? How do we actually get your sidebar to have um, short codes register? Let's just drop in a text box for now, and I'm gonna paste in the short code, all right? Drop down here and click Save. So if I go back to the front side of my website, let me kill that page. If I go back here and refresh my website, I should now in the sidebar have a beautiful uh, gallery displayed, right? Let's scroll it, scroll it, scroll it down. It should be the bottom of my sidebar. Mmm, in fact, no, it's not. This is just the actual short code. It's not working. So what's happened is this author for my particular theme has not allowed short codes to be displayed in that right sidebar. So what is the fix? Here you go, this is the big tip that, this is a little bit more advanced, uh, not that it requires any extra coding, but it does require you to jump into your uh, PHP um, file. So, so we're gonna run over to the functions PHP file. So I'm gonna grab this little snippet and I'm gonna put this in the blog article um, so you can jump over there and just copy and paste it. You don't have to worry about um, messing with, uh, trying to read that off this video. We're gonna come up to our, uh, Appearance editor mode. We are going to go into our themes function file. Please, please, please back up, make a copy of this file before you start tinkering with it right now because if you make any mistakes inside of here, you will break your entire website. So, no, no, no good. Uh, being in here is a little daunting. So, what you want to do is scroll down to the very, very bottom of your uh, functions PHP file and you want to just paste in that uh, line that adds a filter to go ahead and do a short code. So I'm going to click update file and whenever I refresh my website now instead of this short code being here now you're going to see that it actually references the fact that short codes are now allowed in that right sidebar or left sidebar or widget area wherever you're trying to place a short code um, this little snippet of code down here that I put right here uh, will allow uh, your theme to now register the fact that it needs to uh, populate uh, short codes in your sidebar. How cool is that? Woohoo! Hope that helps. So short codes can be a little tricky, a little fun, and all sorts of different types of manipulations. Be sure to check with your each individual plugin and those developers to see how they tell you how to use those short codes. If you have questions, be sure to shoot us a tweet or send us an email. I'll put uh, all sorts of contact details down in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, everybody. Videos are a great resource for learning, but there's nothing better than learning in person from WordPress experts. We offer a beginner's course and an advanced track that can teach you everything you want to know about WordPress. Our classes start soon, so head over to webtegrity.com and register today.